What are we? Who are we? And which are we? What are we? We are human. Who are we? We are people. But which are we? Which are we among 7 billion people who cares about our Earth? Who intends to save our Earth? Or are we just gonna sit in here drinking tea while watching our Earth slowly fall down? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all the committee and the judges of this Elanga Speech Competition 2021. My present in here is to deliver my speech. The team that I choose is Renewable Energy. Maybe some of you already know and maybe some don't know what is renewable energy. So I think first of all, it's important to explain what exactly is renewable energy. Renewable energy is an energy that produced by using natural sources that are replenished. For example, the sunlight or the wind keep shining and blowing even if their availability depends on time and weather. Well, in this moment, I'm not going to tell you about how the wind is formed or how the sun can shine. In this moment, I will tell you a story about my neighbor and her unique habits. So, her name is Mrs. City. She's an old woman, mm, not too old, around 40 I think, yeah. Let's call her the most eco-friendly person of all time that I ever know. Mrs. City lives with her son who works from morning to night. Every single morning, Mrs. City will go out of her house sweeping her front yard which is already full of mango leaves. Then she will check the two mini windmills in her side yard. Yes! Wind mill. Can you believe that? Among all the people in this village, only Mrs. City who has a windmill. Maybe from all the villages in my district. But why does she has a windmill, by the way? Like I said before, she is the most eco-friendly ever. She has that two mini windmills to generate electricity in her house electricity from windmills how she once taught me how it's quite simple actually wind turbines operate with two or three propeller like blades around a rotor the rotor is connected to the main shaft which spins a generator to create electricity and then it distributes to her house but it all depends on the wind if the wind is strong, then the windmill will spin fast and the electricity will become sludge. But on the other hand, if the wind is small, the electricity will also become small. Sounds complicated, yeah? That's the first thing that I said when Mrs. City explained to me. That's what the other neighbors said to me. They called Mrs. City weird old women. But I don't think Mrs. City is weird, neither does my family, because we know what the true benefit of the windmill is. Mrs. City herself told us. Wind energy doesn't pollute air like power plants that rely on combustion of fossil fuels. Wind energy also doesn't produce atmospheric emissions that can cause acid rain, smoke, or greenhouse gases. For these reasons, producing electricity through wind energy is an contribute for sustainable development. So friends, what I just told before is one of the examples of renewable energy and still there are so many of it. Why we should use renewable energy? Because our planet is getting older and more and more damage. By using renewable energy, we can minimize the impact that will cause our planet to be even more damaged. Because renewable energy helps us fight climate change and more importantly, cheaper. So, what are you waiting for? Let's become the generation that can save the world. And lastly, I'd like to dedicate this speech for Mrs. City and hopefully her story can be used as our guide. I'm Fazia Kusunazara from Mugi Asam Senior High School. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me. See you later.